joking, over-exaggerative thing about video game boob that I want to blah 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 about. Hey, there's Ares, the god of war. <laughs> As you can see, he's bigger than your average person. Well, what do we have here? It's part three of God of War. I, you know, whenever, <laughs> when it, so far, whenever I'm introducing um, God of War, I instantly want to follow it up with like either God of War Two, Chains of Olympus, Ghost of Sparta, Ascension. Like, I don't want to just say God of War. Like, straight up vanilla, God of War One is what we're playing. But I feel compelled to say something more than God of War. So that's what I got going on mentally. What do you guys got going on? You gotta fill me in. How you how have you all been? I'm starting to realize that in part one and part two, I didn't actually ask how you were all doing, or did I? Maybe I just don't remember that. But I do want to know how you're doing. So please let me know. Um, you know, significant others. How's that going? You dating somebody? You talking to somebody? You got a crush on somebody? Let me know. Tell me about that. I want to hear. <coughs> Sorry, I'm dying. I want to hear about these things. Also. School, how's that going? You in high school, you start in college, you try and do your classes, what's going on there? Fill me in, you don't tell me that stuff enough. I don't know where I'm supposed to go right now, and I'm kind of okay with that. Um, my nose are really itchy, I keep scratching them. Um, my, them. I have multiple noses actually, you guys don't even know that right now. Where's the other nose? It's on my ass. Can't see it, because that's my ass. I'm never going to show my ass. Or am I? Maybe you can see my ass on the internet and you just don't realize that. Ooh, what's that? Ryan did porn? Maybe for a little bit. Maybe for a little bit. Nah, just kidding. I never did porn. Or did I? Commercial. Well, not a commercial. More like a uh, more like a cutscene. A cutscene that I'm going to talk through. I think the ones that are like full-on animated we'll talk about. Or I'll, I mean, I'll stay quiet. And then ones that are like this, I'll just talk through them. <clears throat> because why not, right? A lot of nudity in this game. A lot of nudity in all God of War games. But that's what I like. It's 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 breaking the breaking the barrier a little bit, going the extra mile, showing you, hey, you know what? This is art, Greek mythology. This is what it is. Is you know, get over it. You know, these these things are fine. I bet in other Let's Plays of this game, other 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 Let's Players are like, ooh, boobies, or ooh, that's hot, or ooh, some kind of joking, over exaggerative thing about video game boob that I want to blah 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 about. Hey, there's Ares, the God of War. <laughs> As you can see, he's bigger than your average person. He <laughs> he's about mm, I want to say at least a few feet bigger. Um, man, what are you, bro? Like like six ten at least? My God. Literally just had to turn off the uh, audio there. <coughs> and my rat is drinking water. Awesome. Can probably steer. You can probably. <coughs> oh my god. Can probably still hear him in the audio just fine, which is great. Gotta make sure we hear when he's drinking water and everything. Yeah, these guys aren't doing much damage to him. Also, he's not really doing much of anything else, he's just kind of standing there. Uh, I believe we go left, but I'm going to go right. We're well, supposed to go left. I'm going to go right. I don't know why I'm going right. <laughs> Actually, I think you can go either way. I honestly don't remember. I think it is a choice. I think you can go either way. I'm going to go left, though. Left is like with all the houses and everything. Bunch of hidden, like, uh, orb orbs and all the houses and everything. Yeah, this whole area. Jackie Rat. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I just literally just blocked myself off from that. Aw, oh, crap. I just locked myself into a puzzle, I think. Yeah, this is a puzzle area. Because I got to get... I got to stone one of these guys here. I got to stone them, and I don't even can have Medusa shit. I don't have magic. I need magic. Give me some magic. This box has magic. I'm going to get some magic. Also, there's two of these fuckers. Uh, pretty sure they will keep respawning. That box obviously comes back. Oh, shit. Fuck. 
damn it. I'm I'm already forgetting the buttons. I like just played this. I'm already forgetting the buttons. Well, let's try this again. Do that. Lower these guys. Stop, damn. That has to have range. Of course it's not gonna stop them where I want it to. I mean if I kill these dudes, they're just gonna respawn, so. At least move a little bit more forward to where I want you to go. Come on. The thing has got a war fixed camera angles, so. Fuck. Fuck you guys. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, uh, sorry. Sorry for the lack of talking. Wanna get these guys on here? Damn it! So annoying. Now I'm out of magic. Son of a bitch. This is great. This is great. This is why you watch. Ah! Come on, come on, baby. Yeah, there we go. Oh, man. Fuck! Ah! Son of a bitch. Pretty sure that's the only way I can get out, too. Ah! Made it. That was so pro. There we go. Now I can get out. <laughs> Even though I'm pretty sure you could have just like avoided that section entirely. Or maybe you can't. I don't know. I, I that's another one of those things. I just I, I don't remember, I don't know. Don't ask me. <clears throat> I guess that's what I'm just slowly starting to realize. I always say like I don't remember. And obviously like that's the case, like I don't remember. But I there's always this like sort of line of thinking for me where it's like, maybe you should know. Like if you're gonna let's play a game, maybe you should know. Maybe you should come from a from a situation where uh, uh you should come from a place of knowledge. You know? If you're gonna put yourself out there, you need to be coming from a more of a not particularly an educational aspect but, but but more so from a place where it's like you certainly have something to offer instead of just playing the game like every other joe nobody going hmm i don't remember this place or, hmm, i don't remember what happens here or blah 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 but uh you know that's just me that's just who i am that's just how i live my life that's just how i always do things but then you start to realize or at least i start to realize like dude that's fucking like <laughs> that's like every other that's like a lot of most major not major excuse me uh oh thank god if she do, if she that's like an insta kill right there if she um can smash you while you're stoned um <laughs> while you're stoned dude totally kyle <coughs> but i see a lot of other people that'll let's play games and you know they're not like major channels by any means they're like smaller scale channels and they're, like I, I just watch it and they're like it's the same shit as me basically they're just like oh i don't remember what happens here oh i don't remember you know, if this area is a thing. Oh, wait, that's not how it works? Oh, yeah, that's right, because this part happens here, blah, blah, blah. Like, not everyone's perfect. You know, you know, people don't always remember all those things um, uh, inc incredibly well by any stretch. But but that's the thing. So you're, so now I, I'm sort of devaluing it, right? I'm like, ooh, I, you know, I'm not that great. I'm just like any other Joe Schmo. But I will have my confidence. I'm awesome because pff, you get this. Talking. Lots of good talking. The, the kind of talking where I can just keep going, whether it's about mundane topics, maybe it's about more personal aspects. It's just about whatever's going on in my everyday life or anything that I'm feeling or anything that I want to say. And that's what's really compelling about these things, about these Let's Plays. That's right, I called myself compelling. Big whoop, want to fight about it? It's a Family Guy reference. That's what I also do. I give you pop culture references. Maybe they're cheesy. Maybe you think they're funny. Maybe you don't think they're funny. I'm not trying to be funny. Ultimately, I'm, I've never really tried to be funny. This is kind of like who I am. And if uh, you find uh, funniness out of it, I guess that works to my advantage because that's obviously a good trait for a human being to have is being funny. That makes you more approachable. That means people like you. Um, but that's just what I naturally try to do. I just try to be myself. You know, and if humor stems from that, then uh, then again, yeah, that works to my advantage. It's kind of the circle of life, you know what I'm saying? But then again, <coughs> but that the, though that's the thing. I mean, if I am humorous, it's usually stemming from like just how I naturally am. I don't often tell jokes, and that's 
purely because I'm not good at telling jokes. Um, I can never keep a straight face usually if I find something really funny. Because I remember there's a few times where like, uh, you know, like when I was really young or like I was in high school or something like it was the same shit. Like I would like to, I love to like pull pranks and stuff, but realistically I could not hold it together whatsoever. Like I was such a little bitch. Like I would always like laugh and like smirk and totally fucking ruin everything. But at the same time, I did play a lot of pranks. Um. I would always play pranks, of course, on, like, some of my closer friends. I wouldn't really do it to anybody I didn't know all that well. But, boy, some of my pranks were fucking elaborate. Um, you know, sometimes I would, like, do crazy photoshops of my friends that took way too much fucking time out of my day. But it just made me laugh so fucking much, and I wanted to see the reaction to their face. Or I would do really, really, really weird shit. Like, that's the thing I always tried to do growing up was I always wanted to get reactions out of people. And it was always, like... Uh, you know, legitimate, blown away, why is this even happening sort of reaction. So, um, one example is with my friend Terrell, you know, we lived about, I don't know, maybe two miles away from each other growing up. So when we were younger and whatever, we wanted to hang out, we would like walk halfway. We'd always like do a thing where it was like, Hey, let's meet halfway. So I would walk to his place. He'd walk to my place and we'd meet halfway. Um, self-explanatory, it always worked for us, it got us to meet up quicker so we weren't that alone when we were walking and whatnot, and then we'd meet up and then we'd figure out what we wanted to do for the day or whatever. So, one time, I said, you know, hey, blah, 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 let's meet halfway. Um, and my joke for that one was, I was going to put a McDonald's burger in my pocket, I don't know why I'm breaking the rest of this, <laughs> I was gonna put a McDonald's burger in my pocket. Um, keep it there, meet up with them, start walking around with them, and then randomly, like, out of nowhere, just, like, mention, you know, food or whatever, like, oh, I'm hungry, like, you want to get McDonald's or, McDonald's or something, and knowing Terrell, he would obviously, like, say yes or something, so once he would say yes, that's when I would pull the McDonald's burger out of my pocket and start eating it, and that would be the joke, like, oh, okay, cool, that sounds good to me, and then I'll just start eating the, the, like, I'll pull a burger out of fucking nowhere in the middle of the street and start eating it, and so that's exactly what I did, I was like, hey, Terrell, you hungry? Yeah, yeah, what do you want? I'm like, oh, I mean, I want to get, like, you know, let's get McDonald's or something, he's like, all right, that sounds good, and so we'll start walking to it, and, you know, obviously we're, like, right in the middle of the street, and I'll just pull the fucking burger, I pulled the burger out of my pocket, and I started eating it, it was one of those things where he didn't notice I pulled pulled it out which is what I exactly what I was going for I want him to just like turn and then see it appear as if it came from out of nowhere that's exactly what I got he just looked at me he's like he's like what the hell I'm like what you say you want to get McDonald's <laughs> I'm just eating a burger out of nowhere he's just like what the fuck are you doing dude what the hell what happened where'd you get that from I'm like what are you talking about you said let's get McDonald's so I got McDonald's he's like yeah but where I was like what are you talking about like I just got it like I wouldn't even answer him too like I was I was playing so stupid I knew what I was doing but I just I was that guy and boy what a what a position to be in playing that guy I love to be in that guy he's that guy come on down to that guy everyone Come and look at all of our buildings. That is also a reference to the Cleveland video. Look up that video. I fucking love that video. Oh, those are some old YouTube videos. Look up, um, if you haven't seen it yet, look up, like, Cleveland Tourism or Cleveland Attract Attraction or, or something like that. You'll find it on YouTube. It's got millions of views. There's two of them. It's this guy who made, like, a Cleveland Attraction video, but he, like, didn't have enough, like, money or time or whatever. It's obviously a joke, but it's really funny. Come on down to Cleveland Town, everyone. Come and look at both of our buildings. All right, and then another one I did, another like weird, oddly specific prank I pulled out, like I pulled on somebody, was my friend Vince. He, um, you know, there's that whole that that 42 number, right? 42, the meaning of life and everything, or whatever the fuck that was from. It's like from Guardians of the Galaxy or whatever. Um, well, anyway, I. You know, that was like a running joke with my friend Vince, like 42. Like, I keep mentioning 42 to him. I was like, yeah, 42 this, 42 that. And he's like, dude, knock it off. So one, of the, so one day I, in high school, I printed like a shitload of number of the number 42 on a piece of paper. 
like uh, on multiple pieces of paper, mind you. And I cut them so like I cut them in a way where they were all you know shaped like 42. Like I cut out perfectly 42 in paper, and and then ran and then so when I got the chance, I would stuff. I I went to his locker and I slipped them through the cracks because obviously they're pieces of paper and you can slip them through the cracks. And I slipped them through the cracks of his uh, locker and just put a shitload of them in there. And then I filmed, I actually filmed it with a, a Flip Minnow HD, which that was like the handheld camera back in the day. I believe that they're like out of business now, but like that was the GoPro back in the day. Um, so I used a Flip Minnow HD to film his reaction of opening his locker and seeing like all these full pieces of paper with the number 42 on them or whatever, perfectly cut out, fall out of his locker. And he, they all just fall, and he just looked down, looks down, and he goes, you could just hear him in the distance of the video, he goes, he goes, wow, and he just looks, and then he, he turns around, he like, tur he turns, he like, sees me, and then he just gives me the finger, he's just like, motherfucker, and it was just like, such a stupid fucking prank, but it's like, that was the kind of shit I went through to like, pull those things off, Jesus, Murphy Jones, these fucking Cyclops are gigantic, and they're big, and they're fat, get my ass handed to me here but that's also keep in mind that's because I'm not I haven't like upgraded like my my blades yet <laughs> I could probably afford two upgrades now at this point but I'm still like kind of saving them bam bam fuck those people up yeah fuck these people up they're like totally innocent too I'm just kind of I'm being a psycho right now this, I believe, is some red orbs. People keep texting me. Oh my god, stop. I'm recording Let's Plays. I gotta please the people. You are the people, by the way. Dude, what is up with my nose? Why is it so... I think it's one of those things where because I keep, like, you know, touching it and, and rubbing it and whatnot, that's just making it worse rather than improving it. Because go crazy. And I want... Ooh. Got a little late running away from here. Oh, yeah, this area, this area is fucked up, I think. Or no, maybe I'm thinking of another God of War game. The other God of War game. Oh, this wall looks suspiciously breakable. It's because it is. Oh, and there wasn't anything decent behind it either. For a second, I thought I was about to have an expansion of health. Or, well, not Phoenix Feather. I think I need two Phoenix Feathers left. Or do I need two Gorgonize left? I don't even remember. This girl's saying something audibly. I can't even hear. My TV uh, is muted at this point. Just decided to mute it. That gives me, like, the best audio. Again, people are like, ooh, why use headphones? I hate the sensation of wearing headphones and talking. I hate that sensation. You guys gotta know what I'm talking about. I don't like that feeling. I just don't like it. Like, I, ha I have this drowning noise where I feel like I can't even hear myself talk when you're talking through the headphones. I know who you are. I know what you've done. Monster. Wait. Stay back! Get away from me! That was a good opportunity for me to read some of these fucking text, text people keep sending me. Fucking annoying motherfuckers. Oh my god! I don't think she's gonna make it. Like how she's all shiny too. It's like, ooh, touch me. In a very non-sexual way, because I'm completely like dead at this point. This has gotta be how many Gorgonize do I need left until I expand? Okay, so two more for Phoenix. I think oh shit. Did not mean to do that. I wanted to save my game. Cause I also realize yeah, I'll take the key. Of course I'll take the key. Why wouldn't I take the key? Um also realized with because again I don't I didn't know this pl with PlayStation Now if you stay idle for too long the game will kick you the uh, PlayStation Now will kick you off the server and it does that so that other people can get on the servers and it, and it improves the quality which is actually a good thing so that's actually good but it tells you in, in, in a very specific manner it's like hey make sure you do this be or make sure you understand what's happening because you know if we kick you off like make sure you save your game or whatever and I was like, oh shit that actually makes perfect sense especially for a game like god of war because god of war you have to save manually there's like no auto saving so 
Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's actually a breakable wall I missed earlier. I hit that breakable wall over there. I didn't even see this one. Hit this one. Oh, and that one's got something in it, too. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, would you look at that. Another reference to a YouTube video. A good YouTube video. Hey, health meter increase. Let's do it, dude. Hell yeah. Even though I was like, I was like barely taking any damage. Play on normal, like, or I'm not, I'm not even playing on normal. Play on easy, you you take like no damage. You don't even have to worry at all about your health. Like it does not go, it does not go down like at all. Like barely. You have to be really bad to die on easy. Ugh, excuse me, on easy. Ugh, I keep reading text messages. This is bad. This is not good for me. This is a bad habit. I have to break this habit. It's disrespectful to you. And you know what? It's disrespectful to myself because I'm disrespecting my own life right now. Again, it's akin to driving while texting. It's just not good. Just don't do not do it, man. Don't do it. Man, I, that really pisses me off, though. If I see people text... Oh, shit! Wow. That was quick. Crap, where am I? Where'd they put me? Alright, I'm fine with that. Um, honestly, I can probably just get these guys. Oh man, I need to get the box again too. Son of a bitch. Um, if I see people uh, texting, I yeah, I know, dude. Can you let me do it? I'm about to do it right now, and you fucked up my combo. Um, <coughs> if I see people driving while texting, what a fucking asshole. You're you're a fucking dick if you do that. You seriously are. You are a fucking prick if you text while driving. Like, do not endanger other people's lives, you fucking prick. That pisses me off to no avail. And so many people do it. It's literally sickening. Like, come on, dude. Don't, like, don't be that fucking guy. Same thing while, uh, as uh, drinking while driving. Obviously, don't do that. That's, uh, that's, that's also very bad. I, of course, never have to deal with that because I don't, I don't drink personally, but... Uh, yeah, dude, like, don't fucking drink and drive. What are you, fucking prick? Like, don't do that shit. Stop messing up my combo, dick face. Could obviously skip these guys, but it's fine. You know, they got red orbs. And if, you can pretty much skip every single fight in this game unless it's barriered off. And you can tell if it's barrier, barriered off because it's got, like, the, the, you know, the red sections of where it's, like, blocking doorways and shit. Like, that's where... It's like closed off, and there's a fair amount of those fights in the game. But I'm just saying, if they, if there's a section that doesn't have those like barriers, you can absolutely just you know skip through every single fight that you're seeing right now. That's which is the, the basically a pretty big key tip for when you if you do the uh, speedrun trophy in this game. Not only do you play as the Magic Kratos. Or yeah, it's it's Cal Kratos. Cal Kratos is, is the one that has unlimited unlimited magic. So you do that, and then um, you know you skip every single fight. So you just you just um, completely spam Poseidon's rage, and then uh, son of a bitch, would you knock it off? What a prick! Everybody's a prick. Today. That's that's the word of the word of the video. Prick. Like quit being a prick. There we go. That guy's dead. And then, no, I don't need that. Fuck these guys, though. Fucking arrow guys are so annoying. I like how the door just, like, magically opened. Hey, fuck you guys. I'm not even gonna fuck you guys. I'm st I'm, I'm maybe... <laughs> the, the further this Let's Play goes on, the more patience I will lose for a lot of these enemies and a lot of these sections of the, sections of the game and just, like, start skipping fights. Because, again, you know, keep in mind, like, it is, you're, you are playing on easy. Like, it's not that bad. Like, you just don't take any damage at all. You've got to be really bad to end up dying. Unless it's, like, a permadeath. Like, you fall off or something, or, like, you get Medusa, like I, like I just did. I got Medusa the fuck out of. Otherwise, you know, all these rooms, you don't even have to, you're not even forced to, you know, fight everybody. Like, there's, this room's already clear, but I didn't even have to fight them. What do we got in here? Aw, oh, orbs. That's like getting socks. You're like, oh, come on. Phoenix feather, Phoenix feather, Phoenix feather. But it's not. Ooh, I have full magic. Medusa sucks, though. I want to use Medusa. Oh, I don't even go this way, do I? I don't even think I go this way, dude. I don't even have to be in here. This was just a room. This was just bullshit. 
Kind of can wait a few days. Uh, I do have to deal with these arrow guys. And you have to be careful when you're jumping over g gaps while they're about to shoot you. Because if they hit you, you are going to stop midair and you are going to fall right below just like a cartoon. Like that, they can absolutely fuck you like that. Ah! So, make sure that doesn't happen. Now we can save. I gotta be sure to save. Do not want to fuck up with PlayStation now. In fact, because this game has manual saving, we're probably going to be in some awkward situations for where I can save. Like, I'm not sure if we're going to have, like, perfect spots to save every single time to where it works out with 30 minutes. Like, we're at 25 minutes right now. I don't know when the next checkpoint's going to be. You know, so I'm not sure what's going to happen right now. I don't really remember what's down here. Okay, another save point. Um... I guess we'll save here too. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I guess this is something we'll have to figure out as we uh, as we get through it. It just kind of naturally worked out for the first two parts, but um, you know, we'll see. I'll see what's up at this section here and determine whether or not we should. Oh um, man, those guys were gonna have orbs. Um, determine whether or not we should keep going. I'm still trying to find a good position to like lean and record these things. Although I'll say <laughs> it is refreshing to play God of War with the DualShock 4 on PlayStation 4. Works pretty well. The rooftops of Athens. Oh my. Well, how do I get on them? Oh, there we go. Yup. Silly old me. Always forgetting things. Yeah, see, I, I'm starting to think, like, there's probably not going to be a save point for a while. That's something I definitely do not have uh, memorized is where checkpoints are, because that's never been a major concern of mine. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm not totally sure what we're looking, what we're getting into here. This is obviously a, oh, cutscene. Dude, these guys fucking suck. And that is that's why they suck, because they do this under they do that underground thing. You're forced to fight them on this one too. These guys are a pain in the dick. I hate these fucking things. You can pull them out of the ground, I forget how. Like if, we're, if they're doing that shadow bullshit, like you can you can drag them out. I think it's circle or something, I don't know. Circles grab, right? Yeah. I don't remember though. I'm just gonna mash. Mash until they're dead. I mean, really, the only thing that you ever need to know in a God of War game is square, square, triangle. That is, like, those are like, the only moves you need to know. Or is it square, 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 triangle? It's, it's just where you do, like, a few hits and then you kind of, like, smash it over. That's all you never. That's all you ever need to get by in a God of War game, realistically. I mean, if I'm, I'm not going front, I'm not going front. But that is what you need. You pretty much all you need to know when you're playing these games. <coughs> also, I don't know what else is up here. Oh shit! More of these, more of these shadow bullshit guys who are fucking me up. A good one. Oh my God, Ares! Oh my God, a Cyclops! The Cyclops dude with the um, ball and chain guy. Oh, dude, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting jacked right now. Magic, magic. Thank you, Murphy Jones. Jesus. Ugh. Jesus. There's so much going on right now, and the Let's Play should be over soon. But I don't know what I should do. I might have to just like replay this section the next time we um, record, and then get to like wherever we were and then just be like hey it's part four let's start now but really i had to like do these fights over again 
Or I guess I, I could just go back and save. I would assume that would be fine. Because, uh, like, obviously these fights aren't going to respawn. I mean, not, enemies that are, like, not that they don't force you to fight, like, they always respawn. They'll respawn usually. Sometimes. Depends. I don't, it's, it's weird. There's certain instances where they'll always come back, and there are certain instances where enemies that you don't have to fight, they'll never come back. But, like, sections where you are forced to fight them, they absolutely will never come back, like, under, like, any circumstance. For sure. Um, but, yeah, I guess this is a situation where I can, you know, I can do these fights, and I can go back, and I can just save probably still saves us some time there but i think we just went to a point of no return i don't think i can actually go back to that save point that save point our last save point was a while ago can i even go back to it i'm gonna go see if i can what the fuck are you dude come on man are we gonna spawn more dudes down here actually i think there's just more arrow guys yeah yeah that's what it was turns those off now so what was in here I got fucked up. Ooh, there's something here. Some orby orbs. You know I like my orbs. Yeah, there's, I see there's no checkpoint in sight. I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna try and go back. Let's see if I can do that. If not, I'm just gonna have to replay this section over again, grab the stuff that I grabbed. And, um... Ooh. And then we'll be all well and good. And then we'll end the part. What button is it? Yeah, I don't know what the fast button is for for leaping a leaping down shit. <laughs> Unless they added that in God of War Two and they never had it in God of War One. Honestly, don't remember. But the save point is down here behind this guy. close on me again. I don't know why it's going to make me I don't know why it makes me do that. Up and around the corner. And there it is. Yes, I would love to save my game. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. You're so kind. Everybody, <laughs> this was part 3 of God of God of War. And I want to thank you all so much for watching with me on PlayStation now, mind you. It's still going pretty well actually. Um First few hiccups kind of like stopped. I'm not even seeing those in the cutscenes anymore. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's getting better. Um, but I'll see you guys all in part four.